I find with these child-proof lids, whoever designed them has made them Pat Inglesby proof as well. A tablet bottle, and inside the tablets, to me anyway, and also to a child, they look just like delicious, mouth-watering, scrumptious sweets. Supposing I got this lid off, and supposing, as a child would, I just swallowed a lot. You're talking about one very, very deceased Pat Inglesby. A horrible scenario, a child gets his hands on these tablets. It doesn't bear thinking about what could happen. Yet yeah, that's why I'm all in favour of child-proof lids. And more in favour still of keeping these tablets safely out of reach, so a child can't get them in the first place. Yeah, I suppose I do sound a bit like a lecturer, but children's safety is of paramount importance to me. How about coming with me now and having a look at what can happen and how it can be prevented? Join me now and let's go together into Dolly's House of Horror. the fat controller, but Henry must have a fair chance. James shall go and fetch some. When the Welsh coal came, Henry's driver and fireman were excited. Now we'll show them, Henry, old fellow. They carefully made his fire, putting large lumps of coal like a wall around the outside, and the glowing middle part was covered with smaller lumps. You're spoiling my fire, complained Henry. Wait and see, said the fireman. We'll have a roaring fire, just when we want it.
No, we couldn't make it. Now, hold on a minute because Neve is upstairs in the bath on her own. Neve, are you all right up there? On. Safety lid. That's you taken care of. Yeah, there were some pretty horrific situations there, weren't there? And lots of other accidents just waiting to happen. The tablets, keep them safely out of reach at all times so children can never get their hands on them. In fact, the best place for them is the medicine cabinet. The best place for you now is the kitchen because that's where I'm going. Will you join me down there? I have a few things I'd like to show you. See you there. You will always find me in the kitchen at parties. What a singer Pat Inglesby is. In fact, I know some children who'd have a marvellous party if they got their hands on this stuff. I hope it goes without saying, always keep the bleach out of reach. In there, safe and sound, out of harm's way. And this stuff as well, you can mistake that for fizz, children love fizz, into the cupboard. Now the big problem is how do you keep the children out of the cupboard? I've never seen one of these before in my life, and I think it's a marvellous safety device. Just watch this. Absolutely childproof. Yeah. So let's continue our trail of horror, and there's a real horror over here waiting to happen. Just have a look at those. Handles out, little hand comes up, over it goes. So always keep the handles on the saucepans turned safely in. Another very good idea is invest in a cooker guard. It won't cost you very much, save you an awful lot of trouble, an awful lot of grief. Now just imagine, I'm coming down here, I'm a little kiddie, and more than anything, I want a big key, I want to, would you look at that? Would you look? You imagine little hands coming up here, see the bickies, tantalizing, tempting, pull them, and down comes bickies, kettle and all. So it makes total sense to me and to you, I'm sure, to keep these flexes pushed back like that. Don't leave tempting morsels on the edge of cupboards. You're inviting danger and disaster. I've never seen one of these before either. There's a flex that wants to dangle, but it can't. Good investment. I'm just thinking about Rory. Do you remember Rory and a teapot full of scalding tea? He's a devil. Rory pulls things down. And can you imagine Rory here? I saw him, and you saw him too, inspecting this very tuggable, very pullable, hot, heavy, and dangerous. Don't leave things like this where children can get them. And more particularly, don't leave children on their own in situations like this because you're asking for. <laughs> I hear you. I'm coming. See you in a second. I have a great idea. Go on out into the hall, because your mummy's out there and you might find the pieces as well. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. I'm delighted to find when I wander in here that there's a good, heavy fire guard. The last time I saw this, this set up here, the children were having absolutely no trouble with the fire guard because it was light and flimsy and very movable good and solid and strong and if you just have a look here extra safety you have a safety catch oh lovely you found the two pieces i'm glad you did i'm here now with neve if she was here by herself fire fascinates children they're like moths to a flame there's no way she can find her way through this so i can relax a box of matches up there where they can be reached. So I'm going to put these out of harm's way. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone, actually, because I'm off to do a bit of do-it-yourself and put these away en route. So I'll see you at the do-it-yourself gig. Bye. OK, in you go. I just love finishing off a job. Yep, there you go. Yeah, well, Dad's a do-it-yourself expert, but like most dads, he left me to finish off the job. And I want to show you something. I've never seen one of these before. I think it's a marvellous little gadget. Just 
Just have a look at that. When you're finished working, do it yourself. Just pop it in there, and the socket is safe and sound. And I can't stress this strongly enough. When you're finished working it, do it yourself. Don't leave the tools lying around because you're simply asking for trouble. You know, some people should be locked behind bars for criminal negligence. I'm just thinking back to that very hair-raising sequence with the baby walker. Yeah, I know they're great for giving children mobility, but as you saw yourself, they can walk children in some very, very dangerous situations. If you can possibly manage it, I know it's expensive, but the ideal situation would be have a stair guard like this at the top and the bottom of the stairs and never, ever leave a child in one of those child walkers unsupervised. That way you're doubly sure and you're doubly safe. Yeah, I'm turning you off for a start because you're absolutely scalding. And that's a mistake lots of people make when they're running a bath. They turn the hot tap on first. Scalding water, children. I've visited lots of places. I've been in Temple Street, Crumlin, Harcourt Street. I've seen children who've been scalded by bath water because someone turned the hot tap on first. And it's a very, very frightening, sad sight to see. Another mistake lots of people make, if you remember that mother you saw earlier on, she thought she'd be away for a couple of seconds. Off she goes downstairs. No. Leaves somebody alone with a bath full of hot water. She's gone for two or three minutes. She only thought she'd be gone a few seconds. So don't, don't, don't leave the children on their own in the bathroom at all. Yeah, I've been talking for quite some time to you now about safety. And it's now time for me to introduce you to somebody else. This is Ron Corbett of AMEV Insurances, who actually sponsored the video. We promised you Dolly's House of Horrors, and that's exactly what you got. Some very, very frightening stuff in there. Ron, how did the sponsorship of the video actually come about? At AMF Insurance, we like to help the community, particularly through sponsorship. Mm -hmm. And as you can imagine, Pat, this involves a lot of requests coming into us for such sponsorship. Now, this particular project was an easy one to get involved in for one main reason. Mm -hmm. uh, a work colleague of mine in 1981, his young daughter, had a rather horrific accident. What she did was she pulled a teapot of scalding water all over herself. Yeah. Now, it mainly damaged her legs and it required plastic surgery. Now, 10 years on, she's still having skin grafts. See. And I believe that she continues to have those grafts until she stops growing. Now, that really brought home to me in a big way the fact that an accident, which happens, just takes seconds to happen, yeah. can cause anguish for 10, 20, even 30 years, or even worse, it could even result in death. So doing this video, in fact, was well worthwhile then? I, I, I believe that if it saves, saves even the life or even an accident to one child, I believe it would have been very successful. If you would like to obtain a copy of Dolly's House of Horror, please contact AMEV Insurance, AMEV House, Black Rock, County Dublin. Telephone 01 832 488.